while training any machine learning or deep learning model what is the ultimate goal we have at hand isn't it to achieve the highest accuracy and there are different methodologies we put to use to do so like feature selection hyperparameter tuning or cross validation in the case of pytorch framework there exists a feature known as autograd that helps minimize training error and improve model accuracy by using the concept of gradient descent how does it do so well that is what we are going to explore in this video on autograd in pytorch by intelipa but before we begin there is something i would like to inform you about intelipa offers rigorous data science training programs that touch upon all the attributes of deep learning if you are interested in deep learning do consider checking out the link available in the description below on that note let's move ahead and discuss why we have the autograd functionality in pytorch well in simple terms autograd implements the optimization algorithm known as gradient descent now you might be wondering what exactly is gradient descent well let's break it down gradient descent is essentially a repetitive process that helps us minimize the cost function in any predictive algorithm using partial derivatives it's basically an approach to finding the lowest delta all right let's look at an example imagine we have a data set for predicting house prices based on features like bedrooms balconies bathrooms parking spots and so on the values our algorithm predicts are our predicted values and the values already present in the data set are our actual values now the difference between these two values is what is known as the delta or the error term now by using gradient descent we can adjust our algorithm to minimize this delta or error term ultimately improving our model's accuracy simple enough let's see how gradient descent is calculated using sample data say we have a cost function defined by the variable f the gradient of this function can be calculated by the partial derivative of the function f Let's consider our function to be 2 into x to the power 2 multiplied by y. So if we go ahead and calculate the partial derivative of the above function with respect to y, our result would come out to be something like 2 multiplied by x to the power 2. But if we were to calculate the partial derivative of the same function with respect to x, our result would come out to be 4 into x into y. What we did just now was just one iteration of the gradient descent algorithm the algorithm iterates over the parameters of the cost function until it reaches a point where the loss is minimal i hope we've been able to build a basic understanding of the working of gradient descent now let us go ahead and try the implementation of autograd in our jupyter notebook so we will go ahead and import the torch library since we're working with the pytorch framework or uh, this is how you can do it import space torch and then we'll go ahead and create a tensor using torch dot tensor and we'll pass a scalar value now in order to enable autograd on the tensors that we want to calculate the gradient on all we have to do is pass the parameter requires underscore grad equal to true right so now we created a scalar tensor having value 7 now what we're going to do is we'll also define a function say s and we'll say x to the power 2 and we'll add 3 so this is our function let's print our function and there you can see 7 to the power 2 49 plus 3 that is 52 so our functions been calculated correctly now in order to calculate the gradient we will pass a backward function which will help calculate the gradient on our tensor and then we can easily print our gradient using x dot grad r yeah. so when we partially derive the function f with respect to x we will get something like 2 into x 
and 2 into 7 is 14 so this is our gradient simple enough now this was something that we could do with a scalar value what if we had a vector so let's create another tensor called torch dot tensor and I already had this a list of size 3 rows and 3 columns this 2D list I had already written it so I copy pasted it over here and I pass requires grad equal to true which is basically enabling the autograd on this tensor y so let's go ahead and try to now let's create another function say okay we'll, we'll take the same function x to the power 2 plus 3 now if we go ahead and try to calculate the gradient using backward sorry it's supposed to be y so as you can see it's showing an error why is it throwing an error because this backward function works only for scalar scalar values now as you can see we have a vector of two dimension so it, it is throwing an error so in order to convert this vector into a scalar we will use the any aggregate function say sum or mean so all we have to do is create another variable and say f dot sum let's print it so this is how it's calculating the sum of this function having the tensor value y <laughs> so let's go ahead and calculate the backward function which is basically calculating the gradients and then let's go ahead and print our gradient so there this was our initial tensor and this is what the gradients of the tensor look like seems pretty easy right so this is all for this video i hope you guys established a basic understanding of the concept of autograd and pytorch see you in the next video and do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you